Pursuant to Section 5, Chapter 231, Public Laws of 1975, this is to state for the record that adequate notice <coughs> of this meeting has been provided to the public by posting and maintaining the notice of the regular meetings on the bulletin board in the municipal building by providing a copy of the annual notice of regular meetings for the year 2019 to the Glenridge Paper, the Glenridge Voice, the Monitor Times, and the Star Ledger on Tuesday, January 8, 2019, and by filing said notice in the office of the municipal clerk. Will the clerk please call the roll? Councilor Hughes? Aye. Aye. Masovich? Here. Manns? Here. Lefkowitz? Here. Murphy? Present. Morrow? Here. Mayor Patrick's present. Mr. Mayor, you have a quorum. Thank you. Uh, it's time to entertain a motion to approve the minutes of our last uh, regular scheduled meeting on October 15, 2019. Please so moved. Thank you, Paul. Paul second. second. Are there any comments on the notes? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Councilor Hughes? Aye. Vasovic? Aye. Mann? Lefkowitz? Aye. Murphy? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Five ayes, no nays, one abstention. And the motion carries. Thank you. Are there any written communications? Yes, Ms. Mayor. We have one from the Department of Environmental Protection stating that the inspector determined that our facilities are in compliance with the applicable department regulations and permit conditions. And that concludes correspondence. Thank you. At this time, we will take uh, comments from the public. Would anybody like to be heard? Yes, Peter. You're all set. So I don't know, if anyone has passed Six Me Terrace, you might have noticed my, my parents sold the house. Yeah, so I'm out of here. Oh, no. sorry, Peter. You know, it's like, it's like, uh, I guess, uh, well, we're complying with the ADA. Uh, so I, it gives me a chance to find a town where branches don't hit me in the face, I don't trip over the sidewalk because of, you know, the sleet. And where, well, I guess it's gonna be harder to find a place that has, you know, the vital warning is the curves because that was a national, a national fiasco for blind people. And, uh, but, um, Oh, I, I did. I did speak to somebody from. Oh, from the Commission for the Blind, who's a mobility person, and um, and she did mention because when I asked her about like any other towns around, and she said no, every every intersection is inconsistent. There's no consistency. She admitted that. Yeah, that's a hazard. It's horrible for blind people. She admitted it. But you know who is she? She's a person who went to college and wanted to be a do-gooder, got her degree. She wasn't prepared to fight the federal government, even though she saw that it was a hazard. And apparently, so, so her advice is, yeah, uh, she said every, every curve, unlike street signs and traffic lights, which are consistent, red always means stop, green always means go. It's not intersection by intersection, figure it out, which I have to do. But so she knew it was a hazard, and there's no consistency. And she said, uh, she said, yeah, it's dangerous, you have to be very careful. And that my idea of walking with one foot on the lawn and one foot on the sidewalk is good. Because you know, you have to basically figure it out as you're, you know, block by block, street by street, um, that all blind people are, are in this situation of having to uh, basically improvise what they need to do to avoid the the hazard, these new hazards. And uh, and so she's a pro and she doesn't have any advice, I mean, other than do whatever you need to do to survive, you know? So um, so even though my, my parents are leaving or whatever, um, my prospects aren't that good as far as like finding another city with safe curves. So um, if anybody knows of, of one, a place that 
has a, an ADA exemption, let, let me know because I need, I need to find a place where I can walk around safely. You know, never before have civil engineers had such power or the do-gooders who have no known knowledge about the experience of blind people. And they totally ambushed us. And um, anyway, so I'm gonna, anyway, I'm gonna say I love Glen Ridge. It was a great town. I growing up here it was. It was a great town. Um, I had a paper route. I, I knew the town. I could run through as a kid, run through the neighborhood quicker than I can walk around the block now. Uh, much faster, uh, but those newspapers are gone too. <laughs> so, now, actually, th they're still there with the Star Ledger. Um, it, it felt like it felt like my uh, my town, but not now. It's not anymore. So, um, but we sold it to people who are who are optimistic, and um, and so we won't tell them otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to everybody. Thank, Thank you, Peter. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck to your peers, uh, Peter. Uh, I have no comments this evening. Uh, Councilor Hughes. Mayor, I have resolution 147-19. Be it resolved the following claims be approved and warrants be drawn for the same and be it resolved that the Chief Financial Officer, Treasurer of the Borough, is hereby authorized to issue the payroll for the employees of the Borough of Glen Ridge for the pay date of November 1, 2019. Mayor, I move the resolution. You heard the resolution, Mayor, a second? Second motion. Thank you, Paul. Is there any discussion on the uh, resolution? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Councilor Hughes? Aye. Vasovic? Aye. Mann? Aye. Lefkowitz? Aye. Murphy? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays. Resolution is approved. Whereas the Governor's Council on Alcoholism and Drug Abuse uh, established the Municipal Alliances for the Prevention of Alcoholism and Drug Abuse in 1989 to educate and engage residents, local government, and law enforcement officials, schools, nonprofit organizations, the faith community, parents, youth, and other allies in an effort to prevent alcoholism and drug abuse in communities throughout New Jersey. And whereas the Borough Council has applied for funding to the Governor's Council on Alcoholism and Drug Abuse through the County of Essex, it's resolved that the borough does hereby authorize submission of a strategic plan for the Glen Ridge Municipal Alliance grant for the period of July 1, 2020 to June 30, 2021 in the amounts described in the ordinance. I move the resolution. You've heard the resolution, Mayor Hussain? I'll second it, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Uh, any uh, conversation on this? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Councilor Hughes? Aye. Vasovich? Aye. Mann? Lefkowitz? Aye. Murphy? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays. The resolution is approved. I have no further. Thank you. Let's listen. Councilor Lefkowitz. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Um, first, a, a brief report. So, um, in the uh, public works field, the crews have been out maintaining the parks and the athletic fields according to the user schedule. This past weekend, DPW crews were called out to clear storm drains that flooded at several intersections in town after the heavy rain. The, cru the <coughs> crews patrolled the borough for catch basins clogged with leaves. Um, speaking of that, leaf raking season continues, and I'd like to remind residents to use only biodegradable paper bags for leaf collection. No plastic bags allowed. Please do not put any plastic materials in the leaf bags, such as planting flats or plastic bags of pet waste. Um, going from the leaves to the trees, Dujet's Tree Experts has started on a contract to remove 29 street trees in the borough. Each affected homeowner has been notified about the tree removal on their property. Uh, and, and then uh, finally, a note about um, the couple of resolutions I have tonight. So, in the last meeting, we approved the purchase of a 2020 international truck um, with a, a bare chassis to replace, I believe it was a 1994 uh, dump truck. Uh, 
tonight we have two resolutions for the additions that will make the truck effective, including the uh, plow assembly, the dump body, a hook lift, and a stainless steel spreader. So that's the report. And now I have two resolutions. First, resolution number 149-19, uh, whereas the Public Works Department has determined it needs to purchase a plow for the truck that uh, was mentioned, and uh, we found a uh, plow through Trius Incorporated. So I uh, would like to resolve that the mayor and council approve the purchase of the plow for $20,379. So I move the resolution. You heard the resolution, Mayor, second? second? Mm -hmm. I'll second. Thank you for your, uh, any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call roll. Councilor Hughes? Aye. Vasovich? Aye. Mance? Lefkowitz? Aye. Murphy? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays. The resolution is approved. All right, so that takes care of the front end of the truck. And now on the back end, we have <laughs> resolution 150-19. Um, and this is to have the uh, custom truck chassis uh, that was uh, talked about. Uh, this is in the amount of $80,157, also from the same uh, vendor. So I, I move the resolution. Heard the resolution, Mayor. Second. I'll second it, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Sam. Uh, any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call roll. Councilor Hughes. Aye. Vasovich. Aye. Mant. Aye. Lefkowitz. Aye. Murphy. Aye. Morrow. Aye. Six ayes, no nays. The resolution is approved. And Mr. Mayor, that's all for public works. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Murphy. Yes, Mr. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. Um, just a brief uh, reminder that. Um, the Ashenfelter AK Classic family sponsorships can still be purchased. $100 gets your um, family name on the back of the t-shirt and two race entries, whether it be the AK or the one mile. Um, plus the proceeds, of course, benefit the Glenridge Educational Foundation. And that's all I have for you tonight, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Uh, Councilor Moore. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I've made several pitches over the last couple of months for the planning board sur survey and I uh, mistakenly reported at the last meeting that the survey was closed. In fact, it is still open through the end of this month. So if there are members of the community that do want to have some input in that process, they can still do so. And our responses uh, are still com coming in. Uh, that's all I have for planning and development. I did, however, want to make a pitch for Meet the Candidates Night. I don't know if anyone else was going to report on that, but it is this coming Wednesday at 7.30 at Fitzgerald's, uh, and it is the, an opportunity for the community to meet individuals running for uh, town council as well as the Board of Ed. And mayor. And mayor. So 7.30 this Wednesday at Fitzgerald's. And that's, that's all I have. Thank you, Councilor. Uh, this time, is there any new and unfinished business? Uh, no, there's not. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Skip, uh, okay. comments of the administrator. Yeah, we just have one item. Uh, last right. week we received a Moody's upgrade from a double A three to a double A two. So I want to thank the finance department for all their work. Progress. Well done. John? Uh, no reform, Mayor. Captain? Mr. Mayor, just to remind everybody that Thursday night, of course, we'll be celebrating Halloween, and um, the police department will be out in force to make sure that pedestrians as well as uh, people on the, uh, the streets stay safe. Um, we're going to have uh, some extra crossing guards in some high uh, traffic areas up in the north end, and also uh, officers in uniform and plain clothes. Uh, all of us will be working uh, through uh, through Thursday night to ensure everybody's safety. Great. Do you guys have a question? Um, down by Cartwright, have there, there ever been consideration of kind of closing roads down in that area? Is that so? We've gone through uh, people over many of the years um, asking if everything could be closed off. And uh, one of the things that uh, have created great difficulty is not only delaying, yeah. but the ins ensuring the safety once it does become dark of cars not coming through barricades. Yeah. So as a, as a matter of public safety, we've always uh, said that we don't want to close roadways in the, in the uh, especially in, in the darkness. But we are adding some, some lighting up in the north end where we <coughs> probably get the most traffic. So um, there's definitely been requests for, for road closings in the past, but uh, we have not. So you won't arrest any kids for impersonating a police officer if that's their costume. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Not on Halloween. <laughs> Not on Halloween. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, now it's time for comments from the public. Would anybody like to be heard? 
Nobody. Uh, Councilor Murphy. Yes, Mr. Somebody? Mayor, I uh, move that uh, we adjourn tonight's um, meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.